Francesco Albertino with the scoop. Okay, coyote sightings are on the uptick. You're seeing more and more of them, and we're going to have a, another um, uh, entity, city entity, is going to review some of the concerns out there so that people know what to do. But a lot of callers, I guess, are calling in, and places like Nuisance Wildlife Removal it will remove it for $450, a fee that a lot of individuals do not want to pay. Um, the one you see on the skit on the video is a very up close one uh, that's been circulating, um, but there's there's a lot of other ones out there. A lot of pictures they're being cited um, throughout the year. They've been cited in Minnesota Key, Lido, um, Longboat, the city of Sarasota. Here in Venice, I had two walking down my road the other day. Um, a couple months back, I had another one that was taken away because he had the uh, oh god, what is it called? When they're sick, the it's slipping my mind right now, but they're uh, they're very common as we know. In brain man T brain tin, they attacked four dogs. They assume it was a coyote. One was dead. Three were ravaged. Um, well, one was eaten. I think three were killed. And but attacks against humans are rare. I know when I was outside Mange, they had Mange. I saw the coyote with Mange walking down. It was the middle of the day. He just looked at me and he just kept on going. Um, there's, I guess it was interesting, I was reading a report in the Herald where there's only been two fatalities that have been reported in 46 years with coyotes. Um, so you're seeing a lot of calls in the Sarasota County, I guess FWC has reported about 44, um, the SPD's recorded one, and all this is prompting townhouse, like in Venice, I think we've had two meetings about coyotes, um, the town of Longbow Key. Um, and people from FWC and everything, they're coming out. There's going to be an informational meeting on December 17th at 10 a.m. till um, noon at the All Angels Episcopal Church over there on Bay Isles Road and at 2 to 4 at the Christ Church over on Mexico Drive. Um, you know, they basically say if a coyote approaches you, don't try to scare them with loud noises and, or they recommend trying to scare them with loud noises and waving your hands, making yourself look big and threatening as possible. And uh, you should be fine. Like I said, only two attacks in the last 46 years of humans. Um, pets, a little different story. I, I remember a couple years ago, a guy wrote me about um, South Venice. He was walking his two little dogs. Coyote came up, grabbed one dog. They were both on a leash, ripped it out of the guy's hand and took off into the woods. So it does happen. And then we, of course, the Brayton incident last month or was it early this month? That's it. All right. So just be aware of your surroundings, everybody. This has been Frankie with The Scoop. Yeah. <laughs>